my channel. It's a beautiful day when I feel good and I'm feeling fabulous and I'm in a good mood. And okay, forget all that. It is true though. But welcome to my channel, guys. If you are new, it's such a pleasure to have you. And do come again and do subscribe. If you don't listen to me now, please listen to my message that would be inserted in this video. So today we are taking a break from the Caribbean vibe to style these pieces. So today guys, we are looking at fabric, fit and style and I'll be breaking down the Enviro Sustainability information to in case you don't know what sustainability is, sustainability is that process of reducing harm um, to the environment. It's essentially in an era of fast fashion for me, I, I love fashion, I love to look good. So for me, I am trying to buy less and in the process, if I do buy, when I do share my hauls with you, I am looking for environmentally sustainable fabrics. I am looking for natural fibers and I am no longer buying synthetic fibers such as polyester, acrylic, nylon, you know, those, those plastics that cause microfiber pollution. Research have shown that synthetic fibers contribute to microplastic pollution and it gets into the oceans and lakes. It destroys our marine life. It's plastic. It's not biodegradable. It takes forever to break down. So that's why I am making a conscious effort not to buy synthetic materials. And whatever synthetic materials that I am likely to show you, or items that I'm likely to show you, it's because they're already in my wardrobe. And so today I'm going to share some pieces from my closet. And these are my definitely loves when it comes to the winter and fall because they keep me warm and I love the re I love the retro vibe that these items give off. They are my three corduroy dresses that I had planned on sharing with you. Guys, corduroy is a, it's a vintage textile. It has been around forever. If you don't believe me, ask your grandmother, your grandfather, your great grandmother, if she if she's still alive, or your great grandfather, it's very warm. Corduroy is made from cotton, so as a textile, corduroy you would notice has lots of cords on it or whales. I love corduroy. I have several pieces, as you may have already seen in my wardrobe, and. These are pieces that they have been around, guys, been around forever, forever, and I've never gotten rid of them. So I have it in the blue. Oh, this is such a gorgeous color, guys. Such a gorgeous color. And to them, styling this pretty simply. A nice pastel color. I love to also bring this out in the spring. It, it, it's so flattering on. This is such a nice color. I love this color on me. If you have a similar skin tone like I do or even darker, it's absolutely a great color. I'm styling it today as a dress. Really love it. It's just gorgeous. Look at the button details. I love anything with a row of buttons going down in the middle and this definitely, or these items definitely meet my style. It's my thing. The 
only thing that happened to this is that I don't know how it got color transfer because God knows I washed it by itself. But for some reason, some items snuck on to it. But I'm not throwing it out. I'm going to keep on wearing it and hopefully one day I would find something that would remove it. If anybody knows of anything that can remove it, let me know. But this is... Uh, uh, my love it's one of my loves just love it so almost every season i find a way to change things up a bit for these items because as you have seen they've been around for over for 17 years so i have thrown my zara broad belt into the mix and this pairs with everything it's one of my best investments ever and i'm using my chunky necklace with my gucci pendant and it's beautiful i love i love that necklace and of course you can pair this with a camel belt or a brown belt oh my god it looks so gorgeous and it's made from 98 percent cotton and 2% spandex. The spandex is what gave it its stretch because it's very stretchy. Unfortunately, I hate mixing of fibers because when you mix synthetic with um, natural fibers, it makes it a nightmare to recycle. And as I've mentioned before, the, the, the technology for recycling is especially recycling mixed fi fibers is not really available and companies they don't necessarily want to invest in it because it's very time consuming it it's expensive and at the same time they are concerned about their bottom line and again what you also have to keep in mind is that Recycling in the literal sense of the word is when you break down the fabric completely to create new fibers so that you can create a new item. In itself, companies, as I've mentioned, don't want to spend the money to do so. And to separate spandex from cotton, yeah... They don't want to do it and the technology is not yet available or if it is, it's not fully um, available to everyone or functional or they don't see fit to do it just yet. Sorry to interrupt guys, but just a quick note. Hi guys, if you just so happen to just click on my video, you are new, please click the red subscribe button so here they are guys if you click on these buttons you'll be part of my channel and you'll be notified when i post new videos let's get back to the video and as you guys know as i've mentioned synthetic fibers are not biodegradable so if this ends up in the landfill the cotton is likely to be degraded in five months or so but the synthetic part of it would be there for up to hundreds of years it's gonna be there staring you in the face and and like just glaring at you and telling you how stupid you were to buy it to invest in it so yeah I, I hate that but that's the reality today almost Every item in store is mixed with some synthetic fiber and we have to try to drive that message home to companies not. Please stop doing that. Stop it. We need pure natural, 100% linen, 100% cotton, 100% silk. Give it to me naturally. That's how we want it. Anyway. The next piece is the brown piece. Oh, love it, guys. Love it. It's the same style. If I love something, I tend to do it twice. And in this case, 
rice. So that's what I did. So I have it in the brown, the same gorgeous style. This is such an easy piece to style. It's gorgeous. It has pockets. Brown is my second favorite color, guys, and I'm pairing it today with this leopard print belt from Zara. I love this combo. This is such a versatile piece. You can wear it as a coat as well as a dress. I wear it both ways and it's equally gorgeous looking. And I know you may not be seeing the boots properly, but yeah, it pairs beautifully with any neutral boots. And of course, here is the black. Same row of buttons, gorgeous pockets. Oh yeah, I never mentioned that. I, did I? Well, anyway, they do have pockets, so that's additional bonus. <laughs> I love the black as well. I love all three. I can't choose. It comes with a belt. Yeah, so while I often wear the belt that comes with it, I love the fact that I could pair so many of my belts with these three pieces and all of the belts in my closet pairs beautifully with all these three pieces because they are neutral pieces and I love belts and I know I promise to share my belt collection with you guys and I absolutely will in the upcoming months because I'll be pairing them more often but yes so here again I'm pairing it with my Gucci chunky necklace. Chunky necklaces are great because they don't get lost easily in autumn and winters. And of course, yeah, of course, I'm pairing it with my Zara belt again. And there you could see the boot a little bit better, one of the boots. That's a boot from Nine West. It's another old favorite and by old i mean it's been around for 10 years so it's a bit younger than the dress item here oh i love this the blue one has it as well often time i just give it a single knot and it stays in place and this one got lost once when i was in the store with with my ex, he, he, this guy was checking me out and he wanted to claim his territory. So he came up to play with, to, to touch me essentially and was playing with my belt, took it out and up to this day I cannot find the belt. But anyway guys, really really love them. Do not ever think that corduroy is, is distasteful in any way. It's being made in such chic, gorgeous styles these days because it's a very environmentally sustainable fabric and I absolutely love it. And yes, some people look down, they turn their nose on corduroy, they think it's, it's not good enough to be placed in their wardrobes, but it's a really great fa fabric. It's very warm as well. I, I find it very cozy. It keeps me so warm in the Canadian winters. So trust me guys, it's a good piece to invest in. Do not be snobbish and turn your nose down on it. And yes, I know it may not be your style. It may not be your thing, but you could give it a chance and um, if it's your thing guys definitely go for a piece of corduroy check the fabric to make sure it's a hundred percent cotton and try to reduce um, anything that is a mixed fiber because as I've said before it's a nightmare and we don't want them to end up in landfills as I said moving forward my way of dealing with my synthetic items is one, to spot treat them, to wash them less often, and to wear them to death. 
it's it's it, because it's it's my only way of keeping them off the landfills because that's a huge problem so there you go guys there are hope you were well informed and that going forward you know what to look for in your fabrics as you continue to remain environmentally conscious thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one take care Mwah.